What is up my Ridge Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is actually Call of Duty 2020 which has all been but confirmed that next year's Call of Duty game is going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now tons of big COD YouTubers, not me sadly but you know I, I, I wouldn't mind one have actually gotten a package from Treyarch. Now, it seems like it's your kind of typical wooden box. However, it's actually got numbers on it. Now, of course, each YouTuber have gotten a different set of numbers, and these numbers then are used to text a number, which will give them a code to unlock the package. And that package then will be live streamed and opened on these youtubers channels to see what is inside now they will be live streaming when will it happen it will be happening at 5 p.m ireland or england time and then i think over in america it's like 12 p.m edt which i don't know because i just not accustomed to that time now i really cannot wait for these live streams and i can't wait for the next call of duty game because modern warfare has just been so it's just been so boring really and truly like warzone's the only thing that's keeping this game alive and that's sad that is really really sad now players have noticed on warzone if you are in a match it actually seems like your game interrupt is like interrupted for a brief second if you blink of course it'll be gone saying know your history now this is kind of a weird message to have however looking at the cold war of missions that we know there's actually quite a lot of them which i'll actually show on the screen now dating from 1946 kind of all the way up to 1988 and these are ones that we actually know of now regards to black ops 1's campaign this showed us many, many missions like Fidel Castro, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Berlin Wall, uh, Bay of Pigs and many, many more. Now, of course, I feel this game will be a soft reboot of the Call of Duty Black Ops series and will probably feature some of these iconic missions. And saying know your history could easily be telling us this is going to be set in the Cold War era and go research some stuff up about it or even go back and play black ops 1 and you'll be able to draw some connections to them that's what i'm presuming anyway now we also know woods is in the game files for modern warfare's warzone and in season 5 the intel it ends with a teaser of an operator named arm 31 trapped in the gulag or the prison in verdansk now of course it could easily be a different character uh, altogether drive, but truck, you know it's kind of putting two to two together and maybe making five or making four we're not really sure as of now now yeah, going back I to the know your to history this could easily be telling us know your history about frank woods and you'll understand how these uh kind of these people are involved in Verdansk however there's actually another piece of text that comes up in Russian and when translated means doomed to repeat and if we put this with know your history it'll come out know your history or be doomed to repeat it now a, a philosopher I think it was in Italy I can't remember his name actually said this and throughout the years many many people in power the likes of william churchill have actually said this quote and history always tends to repeat itself now this is true so could we see something like the zombie storyline happen where you could go back in time and stop or change certain events hap from happening or or let them happen you never really know so does this mean that there's going to be kind of multiple choices that you can make and from these choices will give you a different outcome and from these outcomes then could give us a different ending maybe somehow I'm not really sure I kind of hope not I kind of want a linear uh, storyline because they're just the best something that i also feel is weird oh, is that some up. of it is in russian however so is it really that weird now. like keep in mind loads of things in verdansk is in russian and both 
America and the USSR were basically the main two people in the Cold War. So it kind of makes sense that way. And of course, now we have Verdansk, you have the Russians in there, and you have the Americans in there. Legion, Coalition, and now you have Shadow Company. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. Now, there were, there was also some more data mined, uh, kind of interrupted images or glitched images in the files that actually had kind of another one that said active measures in Russian and actually had the USSR logo behind it the little sickle and the hammer so who really knows what will be happening like these are just kind of things that i've been put together i'm not really sure if other people have or not i say other people have as well but these are kind of just my ones of course other people probably have different ones but these are just mine but i hope you guys did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button should be the subscribe button beside that should be the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i go live on my youtube channel or whenever i go live or upload speaking of live streams i tend to live stream on my twitch channel weekly link down in the description below to that when you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live i also have a twitter that i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on twitch link down in the description below to that as well and you can hit the follow button there but yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace